You're watching Telecom TV from ONS North America 2018 in Los Angeles. I'm speaking now with Rajesh Gadia of Intel. Rajesh, thanks for joining us this week on Telecom TV. What's Intel's involvement in the network edge? Oh, that's a great question. Actually, first of all, thanks for inviting me here. So it's great to be here at uh, the Open Network Summit 2018 in uh, Los Angeles. And um, there is so much going on here. As all the open source communities are here. There's a lot of uh, cross-collaboration discussions, which is awesome to see. And a lot of focus here this year seems to be on network edge. And uh, quite simply, you know, we've been sort of like anticipating that because um, I think with the impending 5G transition, uh, network edge actually becomes the epicenter of both business and technology innovation. So. Um, um, Intel actually, uh, you know, all the work that we've done in uh, network transformation, virtualizing the network functions, and our investment end-to-end um, -end from a 5G perspective, modem, the radio access network, the network edge, uh, all the way into the telco cloud. Um, so we look at edge as a strategic business, like, you know, business opportunity in terms of how the telco operators are going to actually transform their business. And so we are actually taking a, a, a very active role in uh, defining what that edge looks like, what the platforms look like, what the software strategy needs to be, and really participating and working collaboratively with the community to make that happen. And what benefits does the network edge bring to the telcos who are deploying the technology and also to the users? Yeah, that's a great question actually. You know, the first and foremost is um, um, this is a wonderful opportunity uh, for the telco operators in my mind to make good use of the strategic um, proximity that they have to the customers. Um, and you know, you've probably heard of this um, um, term called central office. Um, and as uh, telcos uh, look to um, uh, transform the central office to next generation central offices with a more data center-like approach, uh, I think this is a great opportunity for them to offer new services and drive uh, new sources of monetization. So that's, that's where it starts. Um, so it's all about service innovation uh, as a first point. Uh, but there is actually a few other things, right? So why would we actually deploy service at the network edge? And that's actually driven by the need for providing low latency services for things like um, you know, AR, VR, immersive media, uh, media analytics, a lot of uh, different video services, industrial control. So there's actually going to be this um, wave of new services enabled by 5G that uh, uh, actually provides, um, that, that's going to require low latency services, and that's what actually Edge offers. Uh, there's other things, um, you know, when you think about Edge, uh, particularly at the central office, there is an opportunity to, you know, um, video constitute 70, 80% of the network traffic, and you want to actually deal with that, if you're sort of like doing some intelligent work with that video, like media analytics, you want to deal with that at the network edge and not carry all the traffic into the telco cloud uh, through the network. So it's a better, optimal, more optimal use of the network infrastructure in my mind. So that's why actually edge is very interesting from a you know, few different facets, from a few different standpoints. And how should we expect to see open source being used at the network edge? Yes, so you know the, the role that open source um, communities play is going to be critical in terms of driving innovation and driving uh, agility in um, um, uh, when it comes to the network edge and the, the software stack and the components of software stack. Um, so you know, right here at uh, the Open Network Summit, you see actually new communities being formed that are actually uh, focused on um, how do we actually build uh, and optimize software for the network edge. So. There's a community that uh, Intel just announced that we're going to partner with AT&T um, called uh, Acreno. Uh, and so we are excited about that uh, because uh, that actually gives us um, the ability to define um, a software stack that is uh, specially designed and optimized for, um, for the, the edge cloud uh, deployments. And, and you know, as you probably know, um, Intel's been a strong proponent of um, open source. And so you know, uh, we've sort of like uh, led the network transformation in the NFE um, uh, revolution. And so um, I think um, Edge is at the, uh, at, you know, at the sort of like the, the next stage where I think there's going to be a lot of uh, new innovation. And so um, Akrenos is one. Uh, we are actually uh, looking to participate in Acumos, which is actually um, uh, a new community that um, uh, is going to drive um, AI services at the network edge. So that's exciting. Um, I think everybody's talking about cloud native as the, the deployment model uh, because everybody wants a nimble, uh, quick way of deploying services at the network edge. So we're looking at uh, containers, microservices, Kubernetes um, as um, you know, like um, a deployment model for uh, the new services. So there's um, a lot of active role that uh, we are playing actually in terms of uh, working with and shaping the community so that we can uh, really drive um, 
the innovation at the network edge is a much faster pace. You talked about how the central office is being redesigned. Is this where Cord fits into the picture? Yes. Yeah, so actually, you know, uh, so the, uh, you know the. the the good thing about uh, what NFP has done over the last uh, few years um, is that it's actually opened up the ecosystem. It's actually driving innovation both in hardware and the platform architecture, and also a lot of innovation from a software standpoint. We work with uh, Cord, um, where we are actually trying to, um, uh, you know, drive the innovation around, um, you know, uh, standard high volume server hardware uh, infrastructure, and. Um, uh, we are also actually working with all the software um, open source communities like I talked about earlier. So, um, and actually uh, I'm, I'm uh, uh, of a strong opinion that uh, both um, uh, the hardware and um, the disaggregation um, rack scale designs, I think that needs to be a key thrust um, because um, I think with 5G, with something like uh, network slicing, there's going to be an immense focus on quality of service. And uh, so I think composable architecture for hardware is going to be a critical element of how we deploy um, services and the network infrastructure in future. And then of course we need to, like, like we talked about, we need to definitely innovate on the software uh, elements. Rajesh, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, guys.